Hi everyone, my name is Terry and I'd like to welcome you guys to g and g TV. Today I have with me the TR-16 SR Mod 1. This is a brand new gun that we just came out with, but today's point is actually not to show you the rifle, but actually to show you what is inside. Yesterday we released some information about the G-Box system that we're about to introduce into our GT Advanced series. Um, I'd like to show you exactly how easy it actually is to break down and how modular this new gearbox really is. First off, I want to show you guys something over here. As you notice, there's actually four separate functions. Of course, there's safety, there's semi-automatic, there's also a burst fire option, and also a fully automatic function as well. One more interesting is it can actually rotate 360 degrees. So you can actually go from safety to full auto and vice versa as well. I would also like to show you that this rifle can be broken down completely with just the pen. So let's go ahead and get started here. As you know, it's actually a split gearbox design, and that actually allows us to field this uh, field strip, this rifle, just like a real AR-15. Um, I'll go ahead and show you. First, all you have to do is actually pop out this rear pin here. We'll go ahead and take out this rear pin here, and the gun will actually just break apart. The next step would actually be to take up the upper half of the gearbox. We'll go ahead and hold the charging handle and make sure to hold the gearbox as well. We do not recommend uh, pulling it out just by the charging handle as you may actually break the spring. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, do hold some force on the back so you can actually get some uh, leverage there. As you can see, the upper half comes right out. Nice and simple. Uh, the next step would actually be to take out the uh, mag catch here. We'll go ahead and flip this around, give you guys a better look here. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the, uh, the right side mag catch here. Take out the spring. And the last part would be to take out um, this other side. Nice and easy there. Um, then we all we have to do is actually pop this middle pin here. Um, I'll go ahead and do so. Once again, all I need is my trusty little pen here. Just go ahead and give it a nice good poke. And this pin actually comes out. Uh, uh, with that middle pin removed, we can easily take out the micro switch chip. Uh, this micro switch chip actually allows us to enable that burst fire mode that I showed you guys earlier. All you gotta do is put my finger in here and the chip comes out nice and easy. Uh, next, I'm gonna show you how easy it really is to swap the motor. All you gotta do is pop this one tiny pin here over by the trigger guard. Uh, this slides open. The pistol grip and the motor comes off just like that. Very nice and easy once again. This brings us to our final step, which would actually be removing uh, this lower receiver. All we gotta do is go ahead and push it out. Keep the back. I'm gonna go ahead and just push out this lower receiver. <clears throat> I don't think disassembling can be any easier than that. That's the easiest thing I've ever done. Um, now I'll show you exactly how easy it really is to put this all back together. So we'll start with step one, putting the lower uh, gearbox back into the receiver. And it just slides right back in there. Next, we'll go ahead and put the pistol grip with the motor back in. Uh, before you close this section, you may want to notice here uh, that you do want to put the teeth down and make sure they're not facing up. If they're facing up, uh, it will actually not close well together. So before you actually put the close the pistol grip back in there, uh, make sure the teeth are all the way down. As you can see, I've already done so. Push the small pin back in. The motor is nice and secure. It's not going anywhere, I can promise you that. <laughs> Go ahead and flip this around so you guys can get a better look at the internals. Uh, take the micro switch chip, line it up, and it slides right back in there. Next, we take that middle body pin, Make sure to get something to uh, go ahead and slam it home. Next, we'll go ahead and uh, 
put the Mac hatch back. Uh, we'll start with the uh, this pin. Put the spring in. And then we'll go ahead and put the last piece. And there you go. The mag catch is now back in. Uh, one of the last and final, almost final parts is we'll go ahead and put the upper gearbox back in. Uh, we'll go ahead and just slide it in. Uh, go ahead and make sure that the air nozzle is lined up with the hop-up before you go ahead and slam it home. The upper gearbox is now back into the receiver. Go ahead and close the gun back up. Put the rear pin back in. There you go. Uh, the TR16 SR Mod 1 has been uh, field stripped and put it back together in a matter of minutes.